Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner. I'm Andrew Porzio. Happen to be joined by Susquehanna men's and women's uh, swimming and diving coach Jerry Foley. Coach, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Thank All you, right. Andrew. I want to start with the men. Uh, last season, you guys had a great year, finished second in the Landmark Conference. Mm -hmm. I want to know what's going to be different this year that maybe can push the men over and win that first title. Uh, the difference this year will be us competing for um, individual and relay wins. Um, mm -hmm. I think we have the opportunity to, in almost every event and every relay, to actually be in contention to win those events. And in order to win a championship, you need to win several events. Okay. Now, this year's team, just looking at the roster, a lot of underclassmen, particularly a big sophomore class. How have they grown and how have the seniors maybe helped them grow from uh, last season to this season in the offseason? Um, you know, the sophomore class is a talented class, as is the senior class. Um, but really, I think both of them have done a good job of mentoring the freshman class coming in. Um, I think they've really done a good job by taking all the freshmen under their wings and really helping them develop through the course of the year. Um, yeah. And you, you mentioned the freshmen, actually great segue into my next question. Um, so last week, victory over Scranton, um, two freshmen, David Grove and Shane Sullivan, big part in that, each had four victories along with uh, contributing in the 200 medley relay. How, how has it been just to have those two freshmen contributing in such a big way this year? Well, they, they've really um, taken the whole season to kind of shine now. Mm -hmm. um, they've both been developing. Um, Shane started out a little slow. He had an injury that, that we were nursing, but now he's strong. Mm -hmm. um, and, and with Dave Grove, we're still trying to figure out what his events are. Um, you know, he came as a recruited sprint freestyler and now all of a sudden, you know, he's doing a lot of backstroke for us mm -hmm. and I kind of liked the way he swam the 200 back this past weekend and that was the first time he ever did the event and he won it. So, wow. um, he may have found his signature event. I don't know. That's good. Um, I want to move on to the women now um, and just, just looking at the scores on the women's, not this year, but historically they've just been so dominant. What, what makes it, what do your girls do? What makes them so dominant in the pool every week? I just think it's the culture of the team. I think the women do a really good job of embracing everybody's contribution to the team and just striving to get better every day. I think they, they rise to the challenges that I provide them. Um, this year, you know, with the weight room, um, the new addition of Coach Joe and the Sports Performance Center has been, you know, a welcome challenge for them and they've really killed it. That's good. Now, I know, obviously, this Saturday, meet against Catholic. I know your focus is definitely on that. But looking ahead, about two weeks from this Saturday, you know, we have conference championships February 17th. Um, women going for their seventh in a row, which is really quite, quite amazing. Um, what would it mean for the senior class and the program in particular to capture that seventh title? Um, I, you know, I imagine for the senior class that they'll feel very satisfied. Um, to, to you know, go out as, as winners, as, mm -hmm. as that's the only thing they've known. I, I think for the program itself, um, we're, we're just looking to get better each year. And you know, if our best is good enough to win, that's great. Uh, it's, it's certainly nice to win, but it's not like a focus that I drive mm -hmm. for the program. I just want to see us get better and keep evolving and, and, and challenge us to, to head that way. Now, before we uh, wrap things up, um, with swimming, you know, it's such a long season. You guys start in October, you go all the way through uh, fall break, Christmas break, ending in the middle of February. How, how do you ensure that teams, you know, they don't get run down throughout the year and that they're peaking at the right time towards the end of the season? Yeah, that that's, um, takes experience. <laughs> you know, I've been at this a long time, and you have to recognize that they do need breaks. You know, I do give them off of a fall break. Mm -hmm. Uh, this year I did something different in that we took the entire th uh, week of Thanksgiving off. Mm -hmm. um, that enabled me to start um, a little bit earlier in the season, a week earlier. Okay. Um, but I think having strategic breaks along the way are important. We go down to Florida over winter break and train down there, which is, we get some great training in, but it's nice to, you know, see the sun and get yeah. some vitamin D and just do some fun things. We did a ropes course down there. Oh, that's fun. Um, which was great team bonding. And so, you know, you, you have to, and then this time of the year, they're all excited because they're starting to taper, they're resting, they're mm -hmm. coming off morning practices, or at least most of them are, uh, slowly be coming off weights. And it's always a fun part of the year this time of the year, and it's easy for them to get excited and get up now. Well, good. Well, thanks for your time, Coach. We really appreciate it, and best of luck in a couple weeks oh, at the Conference you. Championships. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it.